So after moving and rotating, now I, what I want is actually shrink each curve parametrically. So what is the comment for shrink? <laughs> Scale. So actually, but I will use scale mu, non-uniform factor. Scale is that you, you are just simply one give one one factor. You did apply x, y, z, but actually we don't want to apply z. So I will going to use scale on non-uniform. So this one you can precisely control x, y, z separately. So geometry, I simply connect geometry. And then what is x parameter, y parameter? Let's create a series of numbers. So let's say that I'm going to use series. And I'll simply connect it and let's see x. So x is increasing from 1 to 10. So this is what happened. This one is increase x. If I connect it to y, then actually this one increase x and y direction. So you may not want this one, so probably let's say start is, but you know, this one is scale. If you apply zero, then what happened if you s apply zero in scale? So basically it's kind of non-existing. So just make sure that it's not zero. So I would say, okay, starting is one, but probably step is probably very little for now. Let's say 0.01. And then if you see that, this one is slightly increasing. You know, if I working on, let's say, 0 0.2, if I apply that, this one is a little bit slightly become bigger. But if you want to uh, separate, if you want to differently, non-uniform way changing it, I simply select this one and copy and paste it and I will connect it to Y scale for the Y and then I'll probably change Y parameter differently. So if you play with that, you see that Y is changing versus this one is X is changing, X, Y. What if you want to shrink down? What do you have to do? Huh? What if you want to shrink it? Yeah, neg multiply negative number, then it will shrink it. But now, so this one is interesting, but not that much interesting. <laughs> so now let's a little bit uh, work with mathematical functions. Now I will add sine function on the x direction, sine of the value. So I connect the series to value, and then I'll connect to x. And let's, if you see the value, not really significantly changing, but I will, if I increase it, you see that this one is actually re repeated curve. So let's a little bit increase the value a little bit higher. So let's say um, 2.5. If you if I see that, huh? This one so now a little bit more. Oops. More. How can I say undulating? So you kind of you see the kind of sine wave differences, and then probably let's use cosine for y. And then I'll connect it to y. So this one is y is trans y is kind of like transform following cosine value. I will. I want to change a little bit higher value, like twenty. So now this one will change this. But do you see that this one is kind of there's some problem here? What is the problem? What is the input parameter? Computer cosine of variance. Do you think something strange? Do you don't see that? So let's say that sine, let's, uh, let's say that something, let's say something 10. 
So the result is probably So sign is increasing 0, 11, 21 What is the result? Sign, cosine value is probably from repeating What is the value of the, What is the range of sine value? So it does the sign start with 0, 1 or minus 1? Come on. <laughs> you already forgot everything from high school? Yeah. <laughs> Where the sign starts? Zero. Zero. And then it is undulating like this. So you got the idea? So, and then finally, you may want to make it a surface. So finally, all you have to do is simply loft it. And then if I connect it, you'll have very interesting surface. <laughs> and then probably you may want to work with a little bit... Uh... <laughs> okay, have fun. <laughs> okay, so this is the, so 